What's going on guys? Miles here. Welcome back to the Nivizio Studios channel and welcome back to this brand new episode of Media Mondays. So every once in a while here on Media Mondays, I like to kind of chill out a bit, get rid of all the tech, get rid of all the, the media drama, get rid of all of it, right? And just come on here and spread a little knowledge, spread a little um, wisdom on uh, on uh, on you all people here. <laughs> all people, I get like 10 views on these videos. <laughs> but today on Media Mondays, we're just gonna dial it all the way down and we're gonna talk about um, some things that actually affect a lot of filmmakers, photographers, creative people, artists, artists in general really. And it's it's something that can be very debilitating um, and it's something that can be very hard to work through, um, and I've gone through it myself, and it's creative drought. When you're inevitably faced with creative drought, what do you do about it? How do you get through it? What are three tips that I think that every creative should know to be able to work through creative drought? Let's get right into it. So I know that a lot of the time, it, I've, gone, I've gone through it myself as a filmmaker, um, a lot of the time, you know, when when we wrap a production, right, we, you know, we're, we're done with shooting on our locations, we're done with this, that, and the other. Uh, we're done being, we're, we're done with like the very social aspect of, of, of our production, of, you know, meeting people, dealing with actors, producers, directors, yada, yada. It's a very social thing that we do as filmmakers on set. But then when you get into like the post side of things, when you get into the editing of your project, it can be a very lonely time because, you know, you're just sitting at your computer in your editing bay, whatever, for weeks or even months on end, depending on the size of your project. You're gonna be working alongside like your director and producers and whatever, um, just so that they can see the editing process happening. But a lot of the times you're also just on your own too. And that can be obviously a very lonely thing. And that's when it becomes very important to sort of just get yourself out of that. And I know that it can be, it can be very easy to be in your head a lot and, and just, uh, and you know, thoughts can spiral, yada, yada, yada. So it, it becomes very important when you get into that uh, sort of headspace to get out of your editing bay, <laughs> get out of your, get out, just get out of editing, get out of your head and do like the complete opposite. Go out for a run, go to the gym, travel, uh, blah, blah, blah. Do something completely different than what you've been doing uh, so that you can return to your art return to your film, return to uh, your photography with a fresh mind and a fresh head and fresh eyes because that's very important. We, um, especially I know uh, if you if you look back on this channel, Six Figures, our feature length film here on this channel, um, I know that we went through a lot and I mean a lot of weeks of, of straight editing. And it can be it can be very taxing on on somebody's on somebody's head and on your eyes to just be constantly in that 24/7, and that's like all you're doing for the most part. So it becomes very difficult to do the complete opposite, get out of your head, get out of your editing bay, and go do something else. And that does lead to a lot of hours, like 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 <laughs> hundreds of hours at times just you know sitting and just editing away and 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 it becomes very important for filmmakers to really stay active because we photographers in editing filmmakers in editing we spend a lot of time at our computers and it becomes very important to get up get out go to the gym get maybe like go outside go for a run do a couple miles and, and, and really get the physical activity in because it can be very easy for, for, for somebody like me to just sit and be complacent. And that's not good for your head, that's not good for uh, your uh, body, obviously. So it's a very important thing for artists to, uh, as much as we love what we do and as much as we wish we could just keep on keeping on, it's very important to put it down and 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 get out. <laughs> Something else to keep in mind to deal when you have creative drought. Um, 
it's no secret that, you know, after high school, you can lose a lot of people. It's bound to happen. I'd venture to say that 100%, like, everybody goes through it. You're obviously, you're one person in high school, and you, 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 everybody changes. Like, I, the point is, to get through creative drought, sometimes it's great to just go make some new friends. Maybe, maybe your friend group, maybe your current friend group just isn't like the best for you. Maybe you're not surrounding yourself with the best people. Um, and it can be a really relieving thing. It can be a really refreshing thing to, to meet new people, get out there, meet new people, network, and, 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 and surround yourself with, and this, that's just a life thing too. Like surround yourself with like, like-minded people to sort of just give your, give yourself a, a, a refresher, you know? It's a really refreshing thing. And, and in meeting new people and in making friends with new people can, can inspire you in a lot of different ways that you didn't really think about or realize to begin with. Meeting new people can can refresh the vibrations and refresh the energy in your life, unlocking new ideas in your head and giving you new inspiration because people inspire you whether you realize it or not. So meeting new people, getting fresh ideas, getting new vibrations, having new energy around you, like-minded energy can be a really refreshing thing for a lot of creatives and can spark a lot of new inspiration and thus pull you out of creative drought. So if you're an artist out there and you think that you might not be surrounded by the best people in the world, can them. You don't need them. You don't. Find new friends, find new people that are like-minded, that are like you, and, um, and, and, and don't look back. And, and let yourself be free of the negative energy that uh, weighs you down and, and, you know, just be inspired by new people, have new ideas, new inspiration, and uh, you'll be surprised what you could create. Now, this last tip that I have for you on this Media Monday is to get yourself out of whatever creative drought you're going through, because we all go through them. My last tip would be to completely throw yourself into a brand new uh, sort of subcategory of whatever art that you do. Because I know that, especially in what I do, filmmaking, photography, it can be really easy to sort of find your niche, right? Find your niche and really, um, any artist, any any type of art. Um, it can be very easy to get comfortable in your niche. Not that there's anything wrong with, with finding the specific thing that you like to do, but the point is when you when you do find that niche and when you do get into that that um, that that complacency, it can be taxing creatively because you're just pumping this same thing out over and over and over again and your creativity diminishes your creative energy just sort of is just not what it used to be and you're used to it and you're bored so it can be very refreshing to sort of can whatever you're doing right and focus on something else um i myself am when I am a when I put the photographer hat on, I'm a headshot portrait photographer, and I love doing that. I love it so much. But it can be a refreshing thing to sort of put all of that aside and maybe go do landscapes, or go do uh, uh, wildlife, or whatever the case may be. Um, it's it's just a refreshing thing just to kind of get your yourself out of whatever headspace you're in and put yourself into something else. Uh, it refreshes you creatively, and you grow as an artist, and uh, it's just better for everybody, and your mood will improve. So, whenever you're in a creative drought, in whatever you're doing, do a 180, and find something completely new, and you'll find that it inspires you, and you'll feel refreshed, and then you can come back to your niche, 
and uh, perform at whatever level creatively that you want. And that, guys, is going to do it for this week's episode of Media Mondays. I hope that you enjoyed just as much as I did making it. Please, if you did enjoy, please do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this new Vizio Studios channel for all of my future videos here. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.